So in this tutorial, we're going to create this cool Aurora effect using Particular. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to work with 1280p, 25 frames, and I'm going to make the duration 5 seconds, so 120 frames. I'm going to click OK. Um, next, I'm going to create a solid, and I'm going to name it um, Particular. Click OK. I'm going to go to Effect, Track Code, and add Particular. Next, I'm going to create a light, and I'm going to call this Light Emitter with a capital E. So if I go to Particular and open up the emitter settings, I can set the type to light, and it's automatically going to emit from this uh, light source. So next I'm going to add some wiggle to my light. I'm going to hit P to open up position. Hold down Alt and click the stopwatch next to position. And I'm going to type wiggle, lowercase, open brackets, uh, 0.5, comma, 200, close brackets, and then a semicolon. So we basically get some random movement now. I'm going to set the direction to directional. And I'm going to make all these uh, velocity settings here zero. I'm also going to make all the size uh, zero. So we basically just end up with this line. Next, I'm going to go to particle and I'm just going to reduce the size down to one. Uh, life, I'm going to I'm going to leave that at three actually. That's fine. And I'm going to go to set color and choose over life. And then if we open up this tab, this drop down, we can choose some presets. So I'm just going to choose this blue one and also opacity over life. I'm going to set this to a sort of bell curve. And I'm going to go to physics, add some gravity. Um, I'm going to add about not too much, maybe 30. So we get this effect. And I'm going to open up air, turbulence field, and I'm going to add some turbulence. I'm just going to add some effect position turbulence. So I'm going to set it to maybe 100. And then the scale, I'm going to set that to 5, so it's quite large. So this is what the animation looks like. To make this more visible, I'm going to increase the particles per second to about 160 maybe. That closes these gaps. Okay, next, to create the curtains, um, I'm going to go to the auxiliary system and where it says emit, I'm going to choose continuously. So we get these secondary particles emitting from the main emitter and I'm going to make the size 1. I'm going to add some gravity so they drop down. And I'm going to increase the particles per second. And color from main, I'm just going to increase this, so it's taking the main color. We could actually leave it about halfway, so it kind of looks quite interesting, something like that. Um, I'm also going to set the transfer mode to add, and then I'm going to do the same up in my main particle as well. Here, transfer mode under color over life. I'm going to set that to add as well. So this is previewing uh, quite fast right now, but it's going to slow down once we start adding more particles. Uh, one last thing, I'm just going to go to physics for the auxiliary system, and I'm going to add some more turbulence to these particles. 
So uh, add as much as you want, but maybe going to go for something like this. Looks quite organic. Opacity over life. I'm going to use a bell curve again. Maybe even something like this. So you can't really see uh, the kind of barf particles. It sort of looks a bit more um, ethereal. So once you're happy with the result and you want to render, this is when you can start bumping up the particles. So I'm going to take a portion like this and then I'm just going to start adding more particles until it's almost solid. And you'll notice it starts getting very bright, so you want to balance this with opacity. So if I reduce the opacity, um, it kind of looks more opaque. And we've got opacity for the main as well. So I'm going to increase the particles in main to maybe 600. So this is looking almost solid, but it's looking quite bright, especially here. So I'm going to reduce the opacity again, maybe 50%. That's still too much. Try a 12 even. Hmm. Go back to 50. I think it's the auxiliary particles. So, um, yeah. I had to go as low as two basically to um, get something that doesn't look too extreme. So basically you wanna uh, balance off the number of particles with opacity. So that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. I'm just going to preview this and uh, see what it looks like. So that's looking very nice. Um, I'm definitely happy with that result. So you might want to also play with um, the light settings under shading. You can turn shading on and that basically uses the light to create some additional kind of shadow and uh, specular effects but um, I'm just going to leave that off for now so that's the end of this tutorial and thanks for watching